Hello everyone, this is Vijay again from Think Academy and today we have invited a senior member of technical staff from Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. So before making it, to, making it into Oracle, Manpreet worked with companies operating at global scale such as OU and Morgan Stanley. So he has also co-founded a chatbox, so, sorry, a chat, uh, chatbot building solution startup named as MindIQ. So without further ado, uh, Manpreet, thank you and welcome to this episode of Pro Experience Sharing. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Okay. So Mandir, can you tell a little about uh, yourself and the role that you are into in Oracle? Yes, so uh, I joined as senior member of technical staff recently a few months ago in Oracle. So our uh, day to, uh, since Oracle is into building uh, its own cloud infrastructure, so uh, uh, I am lucky to be part of uh, one of that team and we are currently building tools uh, that will help the developers uh, to ease out their development process where um, uh, anything uh, that uh, it can be anything from the development life cycle like starting from writing the code then making sure it is ready to go into live uh, production so all so one part uh, so I am uh, in the team building one part of that tool and uh, I think, and most of the uh, time it goes into some discussions, design uh, or design document, uh, designing, uh, not um, uh, most of the work is done, but it was like quite uh, the nature of the work is uh, you, you get a problem, then you think about on a global scale, what, how you can solve it and then try to build uh, on it. Okay, great. So, uh, so uh, Mantra, I'm curious. Like how did you ended up getting into Oracle in this world? I mean, can you walk us through your journey from being a fresher, um, a college student to Morgan Stanley to OU and then finally getting into Oracle? Okay, so um, so I think um, the most key things for uh, being into Oracle or any organization is like uh, it started with my interest in uh, computer science. Uh, okay. In I had com uh, computer science as my uh, uh, optional subjects in 11 12th and it started because of uh, my interest in games so that was the uh, starting point where i started getting interested in how uh, this thing works and earlier wanted to uh, learn how uh, people are making such uh, great games so it started from there and, uh, then slowly slowly uh, when reading about it so uh, the, uh, when um, i started so the journey that someone told me was you start with very basic programs and then the last part of that is we are building games uh, on it so uh, so even when uh, doing the basic program and uh, moving on from there i didn't reach the last part but uh, the still now the part which i am doing is a uh, very interesting for me so it started on then uh, gradually uh, i think uh, the computer science field and the developments that are going on are uh, at very fast pace so every time uh, you uh, you have so much content to read you have so much content to explore so if you keep exploring reading about uh, over the time so i think that was the uh, i think the main reason so to be to be there where i am okay okay so um was there a specific instance or maybe uh, a particular like moment or a memory which you think like helped you in like early days of your preparation as in you were preparing and then uh, that specific thing happened which kind of made you think okay this is maybe this is the right way of doing it and then things like uh, worked out in your favor um so uh, so in that uh, so um so i for the early days i think uh, most of us uh, start with uh, practicing something um, in the college days we were practicing on the competitive uh, platforms though I didn't do that but I have seen it work for many uh, of the uh, of my friends the second thing was the interest in the uh, theory what is being taught in the course curriculum so as computer science students so there were many courses that uh, interested me and in how uh, things are working underlying so that I got some knowledge. So um, I think that worked out in very initial days of my uh, this coding as a career as a software developer. Yeah. One of my seniors said a line and I think that uh, from then onwards that also worked out. So the line is uh, nothing is magic. 
everything is logic so i think whatever you are saying code or running somewhere mm-hmm. someone has written something about it you just have to uh, you have you uh, have to figure out why it is uh, working that way because uh, and in that case uh, may try to build that a habit to first see ki why it is working or what line of that code is doing the magic with you things and then uh, slowly yeah, absolutely this yeah, absolutely absolutely i think everything is logic is something which as a great piece of advice for all the listeners so uh, all right uh, so to the listeners now we are moving to a rapid fire round in this round we will ask direct and concise questions and we'll get those answers of each question so and so relevant for person interested in knowing about software engineering so uh, so manpreet uh, now that there are so many people aspiring to become software developer engineers do you think that there are enough number of opportunities available in this sector for budding engineers i think yes yeah, surely uh, the thing field is growing and the uh, possibilities are endless so um, i think uh, there will the, for uh, the foreseeable future that i see there are uh, there will be many great uh, opportunities for people who wish to grow uh, in this field okay so what's the best part of working in your current role and the organization that you're working for so for uh, the current and the previous organization i uh, generally like to work in a place that is very collaborative helping okay. and uh, people are very friendly and have been lucky to find out uh, to, to be part of all the organizations that i have worked on so i have seen this kind of uh, environment specifically for the oracle so currently uh, the things are getting built from scratch Yep. so you get uh, uh, so you get the idea of building something from scratch also and also since the organization is pro- process oriented and uh, have uh, so pro- uh, as a process oriented so you get a mix of both so how to right. use that uh, fail fast and move fast thing and also along making sure that you adhere to uh, you are compliant with all the industry process so i think that is great and also there is a uh, you can say a huge resource library where whenever you are free you can spend time to learn something and you will surely find great things yeah uh, so so if i ask you like what how does a usual work day or maybe a work week looks like for you as you start at let's say 9:30 and maybe you close your laptop at 7 o'clock so what comprises of you know that that day for you okay uh, so i think uh, most of my pa- uh, so my role is an ic as of now so mm-hmm. as an ic the most i think three things in the my normal day looks like uh, first uh, uh, three things is whenever you get a problem i have made it an a habit to learn something uh, to learn new development in technology because things are changing very fast so there uh, can be uh, some more better ways or the, maybe the best ways than the current that i know of so uh, just try to spend some time uh, using them uh, that then uh, of course the main part is to write the code make sure it is working fine and it is written as per or the software development uh, guidelines and the third part is review uh, that is uh, either you get reviewed or you try to look at someone uh, others code and try to see what more or good things you can learn from them so these are the three uh, main i think so how does uh, a career progression looks like um, for somebody who is let's say starting from sd1 in your organization okay so since i can see uh, there are many opportunities in which way uh, you can uh, you want your career to uh, grow maybe after few years down the line someone wants to go into more of management tech management role so that is the other path the other path is someone wants to stay uh, as an ic uh they can do into that some of my tech friends have gone into product uh, development and as a project uh, manager so that too is an option so it is for someone i think these are the three that i know of i am sure there may it be many so it is up to the person how he wants to uh go uh, into that uh, in which direction he wants to go for foreseeable future i think i want to spend some time in technology as an ic uh, because just uh, because of love of technology and want to learn more magic there uh, so some of the people might not be knowing what an ic is can you like uh, give us maybe a, a, the explanation of that acronym what what ic is okay so it is uh, the it stands for the individual contributor 
so okay. uh, you don't have someone uh, to manage or uh, officially manage your report you have a set of work that either you can define or someone can define for you this and you have to uh, make sure you deliver what you have uh, been promised okay great um, so if somebody is looking uh, into like becoming that individual contributor uh, can you refer like what resources they should be following up with as in any online website or blog or books that you think would be very helpful okay so if i list down by the competencies as for uh, which an individual contributor is value uh, evaluated on uh, so these are starting with dsl go problem solving so okay. that is the basic skill so for that uh, someone can go on the uh, lead code interview bit websites i think uh, these two are great i think lead code is great uh, that have helped me really the second thing uh, is you uh, with some years of experience you are valued on um, the your some part of the design skills or how things work in a bigger picture so for that two youtube channels which i refer to is uh, the tech dummies uh, channel and then uh, gorav sen uh, channel where they uh, talk about the uh, the you can say overall infrastructure uh, design things uh, how things work there is also a channel to uh, uh, read about uh, to know more about the ds and algo that is by the abdul bari name where he uh, talks about the common algorithms that we do okay. then uh, there are uh, the then once you know about the things in bigger picture you can go to the product documentation go to the overview page and at least get an idea what that thing does in initial days of my career also uh, try to watch some free uh, videos on the udacity uh, so udacity i think there are a lot of free courses not don't know if there are now but uh, in initial days was trying to experiment and see because i think most of the resources are open source so you will get and then you can just try to do some at least the get started tutorial to get an idea how things work so i think this all uh, perfect so one last question that we have in our rapid fire round is that any uh, regular routine uh, do you think uh, like you follow or do you think is an absolutely like important for for uh, for a coder or a, for a development engineer hmm. so one thing that uh, now has been part of my practice has yeah. been at least i um, try uh, there are so many things and so many things are available for free even the cloud infrastructure uh, is some part you get some resources for free so one thing is you try experimenting or try building then uh, deleting the resources or try reading the documentation that uh, has been done so i started with aws cloud where they give free resources and uh, try or uh, even on udacity if we do tutorial so they will uh, refer you to the free uh, the resources so one someone uh, to make uh, someone to try to make this as a habit to try experimenting this thing the second thing is sharing and be uh, kind and sharing whatever you learn with friends so i think uh, the sec uh, the thing that has worked for us is in uh, our organization we were uh, whatever uh, we try to learn we try to just tell everyone uh, what uh, we have learned and uh, in that meantime if someone has doubts they can reach out to you this will lead you uh, to study more and getting more into this so that is i think uh, one uh, more thing the other thing which i have kept uh, as a practice in uh, is you whatever project or whatever thing you work try to make sure you learn at least one thing uh, yeah. in that project so if you are not learning at least one thing so i know ki there are timelines given in the organization and everything uh, has to be time bound you cannot have infinite time to learn but at least make sure you try to learn uh, at one thing and improve from the previous that is uh, one thing uh, which everyone should follow along with that that line nothing is magic nothing is magic so uh, everything uh, so try to understand why things are happening it may take time my uh, senior used to tell me and i think that advice has helped me the first time it may take more uh, maybe double the time uh, if you are not understanding uh, it may take more time but the next time you will be super fast so i think uh, try to follow that practice so, yeah thanks thanks one quick so what we will do is that uh, we'll put the links of lead code interview bits and all the channels that you had mentioned in our uh, mm -hmm. 
like summary of this this video just to make sure that people are able to refer to all of these resources and they get benefited out of these resources so guys if you like watching this video please subscribe to our channel we are coming up with many such refreshers with industry experts and we'll share what exactly happens in the role they are working on thank you uh, thanks thanks manpreet thanks thanks for having me so that was manpreet senior member of technical staff oracle if you have any specific questions you want to ask about working at oracle or working as an individual contributor please put them in comment box so we will collate those questions get them answered and post the replies against each comment posted if you like this video please check out our channel for more thank you for watching